Welcome to the channel everybody and the 50th episode of the Matt Pierre career mode series I can't believe we've already made it here, but we are in Matt's fourth season and Fourth game today against the Houston Texans as the Colts try to rebound off a loss to the Green Bay Packers It was Matt's most productive day of the year, but also the team's worst overall Today can Matt Pierre play well and have the Colts get a victory? We'll see Coming off a of playoff season last year, this is not how I anticipated this year starting. But there's still time to turn things around. We are three games into the season. We have one win. Matt Pierre has only had one really notable game. Only one notable run, even. As we'll start here at our own 28-yard line. So the Texans have given us some trouble in the past as well. We've had a lot of good games within our division as the first throw here is complete to Cameron Bright. I forgot to change the camera. But last episode was kind of another one where Andrew Luck wasn't really hanging around the pocket very much and he tried scrambling too often and we didn't make the plays that we needed. What's it going to be today? Counter, Matt Pierre to the outside and nearly gets himself into the open field. We'll take the 10 though. Second down and one, Pierre again into the open field. Here we go. Now, sometimes Matt is faced with a very tough matchup but still has a big day. And that's the way this game is beginning. We've got to gain some ground now after three games. Well, the last week's game wasn't too bad. Come on, Matt. you got to make that catch. That's his first drop of the year, I believe. So here's third and five. Fake to Matt. Luck rolling. Has a man open. Cut by Antoine Sherrills. Nice play. So now at the eight, we'll hand it off. Matt Pierre, one man to beat. There we go with the power. It's a Matt Pierre touchdown on the game's opening possession. That's what we want to see. Bernardrick McKinney had a clear path to Matt, but he tripped. And that allows Matt to reach the end zone. Houston matches us, however, so it's a 7-7 game. Pierre spinning off a tackle, and he is sent to his left for three yards. But already 50 on five carries. Didn't reach 100 last week, but it was a pretty good day. Maybe we get back into triple digits today. And if you saw below on the bottom ticker, oh, that's knocked down at the line. But Tennessee just defeated Jacksonville, so the Titans are now 4-0 and they lead our division. This division, this could be the most competitive year for the AFC South. And at the same time, we've started off poorly. So not a good combination. Third and seven now. Let's help out our quarterback, Andrew Luck. Uh-oh, not open. Luck scrambling, lost the football. Merciless picks it up. Matt, you gotta save a touchdown. Gotta tackle every now and then. Maybe his knee was down, I'm not quite sure. So Houston now leading by three points. Pierre, he's open right there. Just check it underneath. And Pierre, not much of a catch and run threat as much as just a catch threat. Now that we have been switching it to mostly of those short check downs. But they're effective. And I like this a lot more. So second down and three. Busy start for Matt Pierre as he moves the chains. Now we'll stay in to protect Andrew Luck, who has a wide open man. There we go, Brait, taken down by the turf monster at the 48-yard line. To second down and 10. And open is Sherrills with the reception inside the 30. And someone is shaken up on the play. Now Matt out to the right, flat. Luck turns to his left, finds T.Y. Hilton with a diving catch. Nice start for Andrew Luck. Six of nine, 80 yards. Hasn't made a terrible decision yet. Like, this is a good start for our quarterback. But now we got to give it back to the running back. It's Matt Pierre on the draw. Come on, Andrew Billings. So it's third and five. 
Can Matt get in position? He's covered. Trying to work open for Lucky Does! And Matt Pierre is down to the one and nearly scores. We get the time to help out on the scramble drill. That was fun. That's one I want to watch twice. We sit down. McKinney's all over it, so we've got to work ourselves open. Luck, there you go. Matt Pierre has your back. A chance for a multi-touchdown game. Here we go. First and goal. Matt Pierre doesn't get in. Can you still jump over the top, by the way? I feel like I should probably know the answer to that question. But I haven't been able to do it in a very long time. Maybe it's a different button combo or they changed it up. I don't even see it when I play online or anything or at all. Oh, nice block. Matt Pierre's in. Not by much, but it counts. Six points for our running back. Two touchdowns on the day. Hey, that gives him, what, 42 in his career now on the ground? And with a four-point lead, we'll take over and head right back to the air. Thornhill with the catch. The offense looks in sync today. We're having success on the ground, so these attempts are going nowhere. Good job by Andrew Billings, who really made that play possible. Nose tackles don't always get the credit they deserve. So how about third and one? It's Pierre, and we're going to get the first down, but not by a whole lot that pass commit bug still needs to get fixed that is pretty annoying now first and ten and luck again with time when he's not under a lot of pressure like he's making smart plays need to get some of that vertical element though on our offense so let's give our quarterback the time he lobs it and it's caught Antoine Sherrill's nice catch it took us away for a play that picked up 20 yards down to the five. So here we go again. Pierre. Oh, block for him. No. He was open, but then you watch your quarterback run. That's an interesting predicament. Can Matt make it three in the first half? He runs to the right. He is in for another touchdown. The short yardage specialist today. Matt Pierre's third rushing touchdown, and after a slow start, he already is averaging one rushing score a game. Neither team is playing a lot of defense so far. It's already 24-21. This could be one of the highest scoring games of the episode. Here's Sherrill's on the return to the 23. So we've done a great job offensively. I have no complaints. But now the defense, it's always something. It can never just be smooth sailing. It's not that easy. We know that. Our best season is 9-7 with a playoff loss to the Browns. First and 10, there's Cameron Brait. Good start here. Matt already with three touchdowns on the day and time for even more. Hey, there we go. Matt was kind of helping clear open some room there. You know what, let's give the young running back a chance here. Mylon Verrett, who backs up Matt Pierre, and maybe the Colts would rather have him be on this season anyway. Verrett on the run to the right side, pretty good yardage. He's at the 44. We're just trying to get in scoring range, keep Matt fresh. Don't want any fumbles on this drive, we want another touchdown. So Verrett carries again, breaks a tackle. How about the strength of Verrett to get to the 39? 43 rushing touchdowns for number 43, Matt Pierre. Oh no, that is not how the screen pass is supposed to work. Let's make sure we get into field goal range now. Uh-oh, Luck has to run again. We help block a little bit and Andrew knows where to go. First down. Single high look here. They're kind of stacking the box now. Pierre's wide open. No! Man! And now they're going to take him out of the game. Or take us away from the action as we get down to the six. For a while, I thought the block and release route was, like, guaranteed to let you make that catch. But as you saw in that play, that's not the case. Luck has to run. He gets sacked. So we're going right back to the air. Luck to the end zone. Nice pass. 
And it's too far out of bounds, but I thought that was in a pretty decent spot. Perhaps I compliment the pass after it's a catch next time. Here's third and goal. And Andrew Luck needs to go to the end zone. And he will, but through the back and incomplete. Good job by the Texan defense this time. Houston must have scored in like one play. It was very quick. So 31-24, highest scoring game we've had this year. Look at Matt Pierre just try to run through people. Run defense has been a bit better in this second half, however. Now Luck has a wide open Travis Benjamin who makes a move. Let's go. Tie the game, Travis. 31 apiece. Oh, man. We haven't had too many games go like this. Now that is what the offense is supposed to look like. We've got to do this all over again. Houston 38, Indianapolis 31. Got a block for Sheryls. Didn't do very well. Seven point game again, wow. For us to play this well, you'd hope a defense could at least get a couple stops. But I guess Deshaun Watson is carving up our secondary. I'm looking forward to seeing the stats. Actually, I'm not, they're gonna be bad. First and 10, and luck. With an open man now, Sheryls, and he gets taken down on a big tackle by Craig Magger. I wanted to see him run for a little bit. How fast is he? Big plays galore today, it seems. Second and two, and caught by Matt Pierre. No, don't fumble. Keep it going. First down. This would be one of the most fitting games to go to overtime. First and ten. Caught by T.Y. They can't cover anybody. First down. Just keep working players open over the middle. They can't handle it. Uh-oh. Luck is going to get sacked. That's the one thing they can do. It's Clowney. Two minutes left to go in this game. And caught by T.Y. inside the 30. This is one of the best games I think we've gotten from Andrew Luck. I'm really happy with this performance. You know what? No risks here. Just try inside zone. Third and one. Wow, apparently that was the risk. Going for it. Going for it. But do we run it again? Or do we trust our quarterback who's played so well? Man. Throw it. Luck. Fourth and one. Outside. No! Benjamin was right there. He didn't turn around in time. And the Texans take over on downs. Do we get the stop now? Third and two. They turned it over. Someone fumbled. I think Lamar Miller fumbled. What a break. So it's third down and ten for the Colts. We would likely go for it again, of course. If we don't get it, caught by Pierre, he's drilled. We don't see that happen all too often. And now we have to go for it. We've gotta move the sticks on fourth down. All right, Matt, it's showtime. Here we go, game on the line. Andrew, look, completes the Benjamin first down. What a game. This is one of my favorite episodes of the entire series. This is awesome. First and ten. Luck. Down the middle again, Sheryls. Let's use the timeout. We're not quite done yet. Not yet. We need seven more yards to tie the game. Luck. No, it's nearly picked off by McKinney. I wasn't calling for that one. No, you're kidding me. You're taking me out for third and five? We don't get it. So it's fourth down and five from the seven. The last time that we needed a play, it was Travis Benjamin. Who is it now? Fourth down. Game on the line. End zone. T.Y. Let's go. Touchdown. What flipped the switch to give me the best game of the series here in episode 50? Andrew Luck with the perfect throw. This is amazing. I want more games like this. 
This is awesome. So, that gets us tied. Are we going to overtime? Nine seconds left. Touchback. And a run. Indeed. Overtime it is. What an episode. This is a special one here in episode number 50. It's Cheryl's into the open field. Come on, man. Cheryl's to the 46. If he housed that, oh, man. I would have gone bonkers. Incredible. A touchdown wins the game. Texan's going to bring four. There goes Luck. He's going to scramble and slide. At the 49 of Houston, running right, Matt Pierre into the open field. Here we go into field goal range. Someone tell me why Travis Benjamin fell down. Turf monster back at it again, I assume. 33 yards to victory. Here's Luck. Pierre's open, got it. Here we go, a spin to the right, taken down inside the 15. This is fun. If we start playing like this, we're never leaving Indy. 14 yards to victory. Luck from the shotgun. He fires, and it's caught for the touchdown! Game winner by the rookie, Antoine Sherrills! Where did this game come from? It's the best episode of the series. It's my favorite. Not the ones where Matt Pierre maybe ran for like 200 yards. This is the one. Of course, Matt played a big part in it. Bunch of yardage, three touchdowns, maybe not 100 yards rushing. Maybe he actually did cross it on that last run. I'm not sure. But this was just such a fun game. How does it get better than that? Both quarterbacks were excellent. Deshaun Watson, five touchdowns, 320. Andrew Luck, three touchdowns, 364. Lamar Miller, 105. Matt Pierre, 85 and 3. Receiving? Ooh, Julian Edelman. Oh, man. Sherrill's his best day. Pierre, 48 yards on 5. Just an outstanding game. Well, if you enjoyed that one, please drop a like. Can we get this video anywhere near 1,000 likes? as this was maybe the best episode of the series, one of the most fun for sure, one of my favorite to record. I can't wait to post this one. We get the 2-2 two two Dolphins next time, and if we keep playing like this, watch out. We've got to be able to do this again. This can't be a one-week wonder. That was incredibly fun. Please leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Especially after this episode, what are you waiting for? Subscribe. And leave your feedback in the comment section. I want to see how hyped up all of you are after this episode. Because I know, like myself, you weren't expecting that. You were expecting the Texans to pull away and for us to come up short. And for Andrew Luck to scramble into a pick six and us to lose the game. But not today. Very different outcome. So I'll see you all next time. Have a great rest of your weekend.